I'll be showing you how to add your Facebook pixel to your Shopify store in a few easy steps. This is going to be a completely free process as well, so you don't have to worry about paying for any extra application. So to start, let's go over to the Shopify app store and we're going to be getting the official Facebook and Instagram app. So you want to search Facebook here in the search bar and then we can go to the Facebook and Instagram app. This one is developed by Meta and it is completely free and it is the recommended app to do the Facebook setup. It used to be you can just import your pixel into Shopify but now this is the official recommended setting. So from there, we'll hit add app so we can add this sales channel and application to our Shopify store. This will load the installation screen. And if we're comfortable with the settings, we can hit add sales channel and this will install it on our Shopify store. So after we click that button, this should load the sales channel now in our left-hand side. I'm just gonna pin it to our navigation for now. So if we need to come back to it, it'll be easy to find. So from there, I am gonna scroll down to the bottom under start setup. It should be this green button here as it's not the advertise your products on the bottom. So I'll hit start setup here. And so this will just take a few steps. The first one is to connect our Facebook account to get started. So I'll go and click connect account. This will load the authentication sequence, I'll then go to confirm account to link my personal account and then I'll hit allow. And so this should be the personal Facebook account, which is hooked up to your ads manager. From there, I'll go and select the business assets I want to import from. These are the ones that are connecting to your Facebook page. So I'll go and select the top one here and I'll hit connect. And then from there, it will say manage Facebook and Instagram data sharing preferences. And what you want to hit is maximum. So this is going to use the pixel advanced matching and conversions API. This will give you the best option to be tracking your purchases from your Shopify store to Facebook, especially after the iOS 14.5 update. So I'll hit save here to have the maximum data sharing. Then from there, it's going to ask you which pixel you want to use to track your customer behavior. If you don't have a pixel created, you can easily create one at the bottom here by clicking create new. Just quickly before I move on, if you have an Instagram account, you you need to make sure it's a business account to connect it effectively. So I'll go and hit connect for one of my pixels. And then from there, you want to click I agree to Facebook. And to finalize everything, you want to hit submit for review. And just like that, your Facebook pixel should now be connected to your Shopify store. I'm not going to submit review here because this is a test Shopify store and I don't actually want to connect it. That is the overall process there. Something you might want to use as well is called the Meta Pixel Helper. This can make it super easy to understand if your store pixel is actually working. It's a Chrome extension and you can add it. And once you open it up, it will then tell you if there is a pixel connected. I just loaded a Shopify store that's extremely popular called Gymshark. It's now telling me that the event fired here is page view. And so we can see it's now working on this site. You will need to disable any ad blockers as those will interfere with the pixel tracking. To note, that's not for your customers. You can't control that. It's just for you when you're checking if the pixel is working correctly. I know I've made that mistake before and spent an extra 20 to 30 minutes trying to figure out what was going on. Before we go, I want to mention our sponsor, Profit Calc, the one click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where profit calc comes in. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real time calculations so you can understand how much profit your store is making. There's a ton of different details and metrics included in the dashboard and other analytic reports. This is going to let you make a smarter business decision. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and many cost of goods sold methods. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. From there, you can get a 15 day free trial to test drive everything for yourself. So this is gonna conclude the video here on how to set up your Facebook pixel. I hope this helped simplify the process as it's a little more involved than it used to be. I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming out with Shopify tutorials all the time and you don't want to miss out. If you have any questions about this process, leave a comment as well and I'll do my best to help you with it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.